expert says humans are aliens we were brought to earth hundreds of thousands of years ago this is from May in 2017 from the ancient code website Tel al Uamir modern-day Iraq where the ancient Sumerian city of Kish used to be archaeologists found one of the oldest ancient documents on the planet the Tablet of Kish, which is believed to date back to the year 3500 BC, 3500 BC, folks. Which to me, when I see those numbers, that's not that long ago. You know, if we're in 2000 and that was 3500, you know, that's only 5,500 years ago. The Sumerian king list states that Kish was the first city to have kings following the deluge beginning with Yushur. Yushur's successor is called Kulasina Bel, but this is actually a sentence in Akkadian meaning, quote, all of them were Lord, unquote. Thus, some scholars have suggested that this may have been intended to signify the absence of a central authority in Kish for a time. This ancient document is believed to precede the cuneiform writing of the Sumerians and the Egyptian hieroglyphs for almost 100 years. Developing the ability to express thoughts through written language is one of the first ways in which man differed from the animal kingdom. 5,000 years since humans have developed electricity, divided the atom, and developed computers, and led man to the moon, we have achieved things that other species still have not. No other species on earth can attribute such unique achievements in such a short period of time. Interestingly, compared to other species of the earth, our evolution is relatively short. It has been a short period of time, most likely a few million years since the first hominid walked on Earth. Precisely, this is one of the biggest scientific questions of all times. Why have only our species emerged to this truly advanced technological intelligence? Evidently, there is something more advanced than humans on planet Earth. While there are different intelligent species on Earth, none of them makes us or makes use of technology like us. Just imagine for a second. If for some reason mankind had to return to the jungle and thrive there, many experts agree that most of them would not survive for a very long period of time. Many scientists agree that humans, in addition to their intelligence, are not very capable to occupy a wide range of environments. In other words, we are very limited when it comes to our planet. In addition to our fascinating intelligence, biologists have also noticed contrast between human physiology and that of other animals on Earth. Many scientists agree that compared to other species on Earth, humans are rather strange. For example, a baby horse, when born, is able to walk and function almost independently. But this is a human baby cannot do, which makes us quite helpless. In other words, we are born before being neurologically ready for life. Many researchers agree that there are many vulnerabilities that accompany our intelligence. Humans on Earth eventually became bipeds which freed up our superior extremities, allowing us to manipulate objects, create tools, and much more. But for all this, exports believe that our species has paid an expensive price. Lumbar pain, a sign that according to many experts should tell us a lot about our species. Curiously, other animals on Earth do not have this problem. It's as if only humans are affected by some of these problems. So what does all of this mean? According to one expert, it means that we are the aliens. We've been, we've been looking for, we are the aliens that we've been looking for all along. A new theory proposed by Dr. Ellis Silver states that there are several telltale signs present in the human race that suggest human beings did not evolve alongside other forms of life on Earth. The book called Humans Are Not From Earth, A Scientific Evaluation of the Evidence, is basically a resume of theories for and mostly against man's evolution on Earth. In the book, leading environmentalists and ecologists, Dr. Ellis Silver goes through an evaluation of 13 leading hypotheses and 17 factors which suggest humans are not from Earth. I'm gonna interject folks here that I believe this also. I don't believe in evolution. We were put here on Earth. Some advanced races came here where they mixed us and took genes from whatever other hominids, humanoids, other beings. Maybe we're a mixture, we're hybrids. 
we were tried out and our DNAs were put together and we were made. We did not evolve from animals and primates and learn to stand up. The missing link, there is no missing link. We're not, you know, if man developed from apes, why are there still apes? Anyway, back to the article. Mankind is supposedly the most highly developed species on the planet, yet is surprisingly unsuited and ill-equipped for Earth's environment. Harmed by sunlight, a strong dislike for naturally occurring foods, ridiculously high rates of chronic disease, and more, said Dr. Ellis in an interview. According to Dr. Ellis, humans might suffer from back pain because our species initially evolved on another planet with a lower gravity, adding to the mysteries. Dr. Ellis also indicates that it is strange that newborns have large heads and make it difficult for mothers to give birth, which can result in fatalities for both mother and child. So where do we come from? According to Dr. Ellis, Neanderthals were most likely crossbred with another species, perhaps from the star system Alpha Centauri, which is one of the closest solar systems to Earth in the distant past, giving birth to modern humans. According to Dr. Ellis, there are millions of people around the globe who feel that they do not belong to Earth. Dr. Ellis explains, quote, This suggests to me, at least, that mankind may have evolved on a different planet, and we may have been brought here as a highly developed species. One reason for this is that the Earth might be a prison planet, since we seem to be a naturally violent species, and we're here until we learn to behave ourselves. Dr. Ellis concludes that mankind did not evolve from that particular strain of life, but evolved somewhere else and was transported to Earth as fully evolved Homo sapiens between 60,000 and 200,000 years ago. Furthermore, as noted by Robert Seffer, according to modern DNA sequencing, it is demonstrated that humanity as we know it isn't just one single race that descended from the same ancestor in Africa, but a hybridized species with a far more enigmatic truth behind it all. Many questions have been raised in the discussion about RH negative blood. If mankind did in fact evolve from a, mutual, a mutual ancient African ancestors, theories state that everyone's blood would be compatible, but regrettably, this is not the case. This raises numerous questions that science alone has not been able to fully answer. Where did RH negative blood come from? And why is it that a RH negative mother carrying a RH negative Positive children tries rejecting her own offspring. Is it possible that this can be explained by a rather controversial theory? A theory that would suggest that humanity isn't in fact one race, but a hybridized species. The book was written by Robert Seffer, The Species with Amnesia, Our Forbidden History. And it tells us more about the enigmatic blood type RH negative. Not only does species with amnesia suggest mankind is in fact a hybridized species, the author, the author suggests that a highly advanced civilization may have been on Earth before us, just to be destroyed by some global catastrophe, as mysteriously history tells us. Seffer argues that for each race that has died out, another has taken its place, with a selected few holding on to the memories and sacred knowledge of the past race. What do they say, folks? We're the fourth or fifth root race. They call that a root race, the past races for catastrophes. We're the fourth or fifth on this planet that they've found. In our vanity, we think we have discovered some of the great truths of science and technology, but we are, in fact, only just beginning to rediscover the profound wisdom of past civilizations. In many ways, we are like an awakening species with amnesia, yearning to reclaim our forgotten past. The Basque people of Spain and France have the highest percentage of RH negative blood. About 30% have RH negative, and about 60% carry one negative gene. There are 612 primate species and subspecies recognized by the International Union for Conversation of Nature, IUCN, and not one has RH negative blood. All right, folks. Thank you for coming to Plain Mundane Show. Please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. I'm out.